let's talk about the role and responsibility of the left fielder. So the basic area of the left fielder and the area that they need to cover is here. Now it's a large area and the left fielder needs to make sure that they put themselves in a positive position to catch the ball or get a ground ball or to back somebody up. Now if a ball is hit towards the third baseman, the left fielder needs to rotate over and to make sure that they get into position in case that ball goes past the third baseman. Also, the left fielder needs to rotate over if it's hit to the shortstop and make sure that they can get the ball. Anytime you're playing the outfield, you should be moving on every pitch and moving with every hit. Even if the ball is not hit towards the third baseman or shortstop, the left fielder should still be moving. So if a ball is hit to second base and then thrown over to first, the left fielder should still be moving into position to be ready to back up a throw. Because if the second baseman overthrows the first baseman and our catcher has rotated over properly and the person that is running decides to go to second, what can then happen is the catcher is going to throw it to our shortstop who also has rotated over and make sure that they're in position. Now if the catcher overthrows the ball, the left fielder is in position. Now if the left fielder just sits here and doesn't move during the play, even though the play is not hit anywhere near them, instead it's hit to the second baseman, this ball could possibly roll all the way to the fence and a person now the batter that hit a ball to the second baseman could possibly have an in the park home run. And we don't want to do that. That is one of the biggest reasons that other teams score is we are not in position when the ball is hit. So it is key for the left fielder to make sure that they rotate over to back up the throws. Now the other thing is if a ball is hit into the outfield, the left fielder obviously needs to go for the ball along with the center fielder, and we'll talk a little bit more about the center fielder later, but they both need to rotate in order to make sure that they are in position to make a play on that ball. If the ball is not hit to the left fielder but mainly towards the center fielder the left fielder again should not just be sitting there watching the ball they should go and run towards the ball we don't know if the center fielder is going to trip or if we're going to need to do a double cutoff where the left fielder can get into place here the shortstop maybe the play is coming home center fielder gets it and then we can throw the ball for a double cutoff but the key to any position and specifically the outfield position is always moving on the play since the left fielder is moving on the play they also need to make sure they rotate in case there's a steal so if there's a runner on second and the ball is thrown and the runner on second begins to steal, the third baseman's gonna obviously go and cover third. But the left fielder needs to make sure that they run to back up because the throw is coming from the third baseman. Now, the shortstop will also run to cover second or the backup. Now the shortstop will also go to back up, but the left fielder needs to make sure they get into place just in case the ball goes over or past the shortstop. Now they want to be close enough where if the ball does go past, they're able to make the throw home, but they don't want to be standing right next to the shortstop. 
because it makes no sense to have people, two people in the same exact position. So probably about seven to 10 feet behind where the shortstop is. And the shortstop should be three or four feet off of the dirt, depending on how deep the dirt is or how deep the grass is um, off third base. So probably about 10 feet. So if the shortstop is 10 feet, off of 10 to 15 feet off of third base and then the left fielder is another let's say 10 feet off of third base we should be good to back up that play